Hi guys, David D here. Been a while. Today we're going to go down to Excellent Edges and check out the Croc texturizing scissor. It's going to be a great afternoon. We're going to see how it performs and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, see you when we get there. Okay guys, here we are. Excellent Edges. We're just going to go in and we'll start some video of the new scissors and scissors. They're awesome. Hi guys, here we are now in the showroom in Excellent Edges. Looks fantastic. Beautiful new lighting, chandelier, scissor at the top of the roof. And on the left hand side you'll see all the new accessories. Combs, clips, scissor pouches, anything you need you'll get it at Excellent Edges. And it's a beautiful showroom that Peter's just done up. It's fantastic. Once again you're having a look around into the showroom area. It's just great. Guys, we're Pete from Excellent Edges. He's just going to explain about the crop texturizer and uh, show us how to use it a little bit. And we'll go from there. Cool. So the crop has got two tangs on it. Uh, the reason why is so you can cut underneath or outside of the head. So the main important thing is uh, cutting this blade here. If it's closest to the scalp, if you can't, it actually cuts underneath, so creating texture. With this, you can use pretty much any technique, but the end result is it ends up softer. So if you want to cut some soft blunt lines, basically you run it across, leaving it super, super soft, but blunt. Um, you can also use it for all the fringe work and stuff like that. So using these for fringes, it does make it really, really soft. You can also come through and break them up. So once again, if you've got the cutting blade close to the scalp, it's just going to break it up and make it really, really softly without actually showing any lines through at all. Um, it's a good weapon for scissor and carving as well. So the beauty with this, when you scissor over combing, um, cut it way to the bottom. You can literally load it in, and if you run it with a fast blade and a really, really slow scissor action, you can achieve some great scissor out of the camera results. The end result is though, it's actually just really, really soft. So it's a great blending tool as well. Um, with them as well, you can obviously open up areas. So, uh, the one thing you have to realize with this is when you have it around the wrong way. So, as I said before, you're coming in and cutting underneath. If you hit this the wrong way, you'll notice what you're doing on the outside of the head. So, really, really important to make sure when you're using it to soften areas out, cutting blade closest to the scalp through this way. So despite it looking super super aggressive, it's actually an incredibly soft tool um, and it literally it, it cuts and it can point cut and actually leave it softer and actually with something that you, you just can't replicate with any other scissor. For me um, it's probably our biggest selling scissor. I'm almost at the point now where I almost don't use a normal thinning scissor because I've got the ability to change the angles of these to work blunt then to also obviously come directly into it and soften it out this way as well so whichever way you're working with it you know it's always going to be a really really soft end result. Just repeat, I have just bought the Crocs texturizer, great tool, can't wait to use it and uh, once again it's always a pleasure to see Peter and get information off him.